Now we get to explore some of the drawbacks of the digital asset of cryptocurrency. Previously, it was mentioned how cryptocurrency is a one-of-a-kind digital currency without likeness, because not many payments nowadays are without the involvement of a third party, low-risk payment, little or no fraud cases, and most of all, universal in its usage. However, considering the online nature of cryptocurrency, there are many appalling flaws that come with it. There are four major setbacks concerning cryptocurrency. The first one is the lack of understanding over cryptocurrency. In most cases, people are still unaware of the digital currency world and the potential it holds. This is very similar to when the usage of credit cards first became available, and the reception towards them was fairly similar to that of cryptocurrency. Back then, people wouldn't even think that paying things using a mere card is possible. What's more, using a whole new digital currency. Because it is different and it doesn't involve cash directly, people shy away from it and constantly doubt its effectiveness. Additionally, it involves online access to make it work. The idea of paying for things or transferring money online is convenient to some, but most are still skeptical about it. In order to make cryptocurrency acceptable around us, the people need to be educated about it to be able to include it in their daily lives. One way to do this is through networking, but the fact is there are not many places online where people can learn about it. The effort to learn a whole new world of currency requires a lot of time and energy. Most would think it's not worth their time because it's not commonly known anyway. Even though some businesses are accepting bitcoins, the list is significantly small compared to traditional currencies. This is probably due to the lack of knowledgeable staff that understands the ways of digital currencies. Plus, they need to help educate their customers about it and how to use it for a smooth transaction. This again will take longer time and effort to teach others. Another drawback of cryptocurrency would be its lack of protection and guarantee. In the case of traditional currency, there's a central bank that governs the authority on every nation's money. No higher authority can suddenly decide that they no longer want to use their country's currency to trade without protest and rejection. There are proceedings to follow, documents to file, approvals, and many other protocols to follow. However, that's not the case with our digital currency. There is no central bank who governs Bitcoin, which means no one can guarantee its minimum valuation. The value of Bitcoin, for example, will fall tremendously should a major group of merchants decide to just discard Bitcoins and leave the system. This will inevitably put other users who have invested thousands of dollars into Bitcoins into a major loss. There's no one to contact to complain about these losses or rules to help compensate them. Thus, the decentralized system of Bitcoin is what we call a double-edged sword all on its own. The next disadvantage is its technical shortcomings. When online banking made its way into our lives, there is always a risk of sudden server failure, power shortages, and even hardware lags. If it happens and you ended up getting charged but didn't receive the online movie tickets or flight tickets, you can always call back the service provider or go to the physical bank instead and declare your case. Most of the cases, if you show evidence of your payment, you'll get proper compensation or feedback. But that's not how it works with cryptocurrency. First of all, this currency does not have a bank to negotiate and help you around. There's no fixed number that you could call and just ask for clarification. So if you bought your goods using bitcoins, for example, and the merchant didn't send the items you purchased, there's nothing you can do to reverse the transaction or get a refund. You can't complain to the police or any relating authority for that matter. Similar to data corruption or virus infections, if your hard drive crashes and your wallet file is corrupted, your Bitcoin is lost forever. There is nothing you can do to restore it and those coins will be orphaned in the system. The last major disadvantage of cryptocurrency would be because it is still developing. When things are still developing, it's prone to many risks. There are so many incomplete features that can be improved, but it takes longer time to finalize especially if it has no physical form. With traditional currency, despite the method of payments nowadays are done online, and without us actually seeing the physical money transferring from one account to another, at the end of the day, when you reach the ATM, you are capable of holding that cash. You can use it to buy stuff from the stores, physically and online. 
That shows how developed our traditional currency is. Since cryptocurrency doesn't have any physical form, its usage is obviously restricted. It must always be converted to traditional currency to enjoy its worth. According to studies, there was a time when there was a proposition to store Bitcoin wallet information on cards. However, there is no consensus nor continuation of the proposal. Most probable reason would be because merchants find it unfeasible to support all the cryptocurrency cards. There's no system for an immediate payment using the cards. Thus, users are forced to convert it into real money anyway. As you can see, there are four disadvantages of cryptocurrency. There is a lack of understanding towards this digital currency, plus there's a minimum protection and guarantee when using it. Because it's mostly operating online, it's bound to experience all kinds of technical flaws and it's still developing. The world of cryptocurrency is relatively new to some people and it can be difficult to understand because nobody really knows what currencies will or can be adopted and at what scale. So in the next chapter, we'll talk about what the future holds for cryptocurrency.